the enemy's flame will not kindle upon you. And Michael, no matter how the devil come against you, the enemy's flame will not kindle upon you. So I want to say that encouragement from you from God's word. And I'm going to read this passage and then I'll pray it over you, Michael. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. Nor shall the flames scorch you, for I am the Lord your God. Fear not the evil threats of the wicked, for just as the flame consumes the chaff, so will my holy flame burn up their root of rottenness, and their blossom will ascend like dust. Just as the flame of the furnace was unable to harm my servants, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Abednego, Neither shall the wicked fire bring harm to you, for I will be with you in the midst of the fire. The fire will have no power to harm your body, and not a hair on your head or your garments will be touched by the flame of the enemy. Wow, that's wonderful, Father God. You're so dynamite, God. Oh my God, I thank you that you fight our enemies in the spiritual realm and the natural realm. Thank you for, again, Isaiah 43, 2, Isaiah 5, 24, and Daniel 3 is done in Michael Barton's life, Father God. And I'm going to pray this prayer over you now, Michael, that I just read in the passage. I thank you, Father God, that the enemy's flame will not kindle upon Michael Barton. I thank you, Father God, when Michael Barton walked through the fire. The fire of every situation that he's going through with the gain stocking stuff. That Michael Barton will not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch Michael Barton. For Michael Barton is for Father God, I'm sorry I messed that up. I thank you, Father God, for I thought it was saying one thing, but it wasn't. I thank you, Father God, that you are the Lord Michael Barton's God. You are the Lord Michael Barton's God, Father God. And I thank you, Father God, that Michael Barton, fear not the evil threats of the wicked. He don't fear the evil threats of the wicked perpetrators that come against him. For just as the flame consumes the shaft, Father God, the chaff, so will your holy fire, your holy flame, Father God, burn up the root of their rightness, the root of the rightness of these perps that come against him. And their blossom of these perps will ascend like dust, Father God. Because of your supernatural power, of course, Father God, I must say. Just as the flame of the furnace was unable to harm your servants, Heavenly Father, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, neither shall the wicked fire bring harm to Michael Barton. For Michael Barton will be for you, Father God. Sorry about that again. Michael, Father God, you will be with Michael. So, Father God, for you, Heavenly Father, will be with Michael Barton in the midst of the fire. In the midst of every fiery situation that Michael Barton is going through with the gain stocking stock. The fire will have no power to harm Michael Barton's body, Father God. Not a hair on Michael Barton's head or his garments will be touched by the flame of the enemy which the enemy is the devil father god so i thank you father god that this prayer is done in michael barton's life father god that no flame of the enemy will be able to touch michael Barton. the flame of any evil fiery situation that the devil has leased against him including the court situations including this unjust court situation this unjust accusation this lie that the devil has brought upon michael barton that fiery situation and that fire will not touch michael barton either father god or any gain stocking situation or any evil unjust thing Father God or harassment or torture in Jesus Christ's name and what the devil has stolen from Michael Barton Father God you are restoring everything that the devil has stolen in Michael Barton's life Father God even with relationships with jobs with finances sleep peace health or whatever 
You are restoring everything, including his good name and his good character back, Father God, that has been stolen because of the lies of the enemy and the accusations and gossip and slander and all that through even this court case situation that he's facing. So I thank you, Father God, that you are restoring everything to Michael Barton, Father God, in every given era of his life, in Jesus Christ's name, from what he has lost, that you are lost, you are vindicating him and making it up for him, Father God, that he has lost with loved ones, with with deaths of loved ones and people that he cared about, and even with relationships, and Father God, even even though the devil has put per relationships in his life at times, Father God, and he's been duped, you are vindicating him on that, Father God. As well, and you are bringing him much better relationships sent by you, ordain strategic relationships sent by you, Lord, non toxic relationships in the future, Father God, for him in Jesus Christ's name. And that you are restoring peace and love and kindness and favor and reverence and honor back in Michael Barton's life. You are restoring his monies back, his health, Father God, his peace of mind. You are restoring his sleep, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, you are restoring anything in his business that's been stolen, anything in his home that's been stolen, Father God. Any material thing, Father God, you are restoring uh his good reputation, Father, good name back. You, know, you are restoring the destiny to, call, to bring an intuition in his life, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, that your will will be done in Michael Barton's life. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. And I ask that you destroy the plans of the devil, that Father God, that come against Michael Barton's life, that you would destroy the plans of the devil in Michael Barton's life with your power and your anointing and with your holy fires and with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. That your plans will be fulfilled in Michael Barton's life alone, Father God. The good plans and the future and the hope and the expected end that you have for Michael Barton. The original destiny and plan that you have for him, for his life and his future, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And I thank you, Father God, that you will give him a better life in the future. If it's your will for him to get married again, Father God, way in the future, once you deliver him from this gain stocking program, Father God, I thank you for giving him the right kind of life, Father God, that it will be no more divorce, that you're burning up the spirit. Spirit of failed relationships, the curse of failed relationships, divorce, separation, and evil, pert relationships, the spirits of abuse and torture and Jezebel demons in Jesus Christ's name with your holy fires down to the ashes to the ground. And I ask, Father, that you will keep Michael from entering into any Jezebel, witchcraft, voodoo, spirited relationships sent by the devil, from Jezebel filled spirited women and witchcraft, voodoo, spirited witchy poo women, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will break that curse off his life, that you will break that curse and dark spirits off of his life that attract these type of people and evil assignments of the devil, Father God, that bring these type of people in his life to use and, and sabotage him and to abuse him and to control or dominate him in Jesus Christ's name, that you'll protect him from these beautiful Jezebel-filled spirited Voodoo spirited women, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and that you will give him discernment and sharpen him his discernment, Father, to discern that, Father God, right away, and that you will reveal it to him, Holy Spirit, in Jesus Christ's name, and that you reveal to him, Father God, when you have the right kind of people that you send in in his path, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and that you will keep the evil people, spirited people, out of his path and out of his life, Father God, with your supernatural power and your glory shield and your hedge and shield of protection with the blood of Jesus Christ and with your power and your anointing around Michael Barton in his life in Jesus Christ's name that you will cover Michael Barton's social life and future relationships with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name that you will give him discernment to discern the spirits behind people Father, discern their actions their fruits of their actions Father God in Jesus Christ and not their words but to listen to their words but to judge by their actions and not more so by what they say in Jesus Christ's name that you will give him strength and courage Father God to set healthy boundaries with these perpetrators to stand up to these perps to stand up to bullies to stand up to anyone to say no to the devil to say no to the enemy Father God 
without being manipulated in any kind of way, that he will not be swayed and duped and manipulated or deceived by anyone, Father God, that you will help him and strengthen him with the power of the Holy Spirit and the power of your anointing and the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name and with sending more of your and releasing more of your discernment to increase discernment and sharpen the discernment in him, Father God, and wisdom and knowledge and understanding, Father God, according to the scriptures of your word and according to he will ye, lean to your wisdom and your knowledge and understanding on things and dealing with people and in relationships and dealing with crooks and perps and stuff father god that you give him wisdom how to deal with these perps more and more and more father god in jesus christ's name in a very powerful effective way where he will not be played or manipulated or agitated or made to rile up Father God, that you will burn up every anger provoking devil, every spirit of anger and rage and and jealousy and envy that come against him, Father God, with your holy fires that come against his business. And Jesus Christ, that you'll preserve his business and his hats with the blood of Jesus Christ and keep it, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ and your power and your anointing. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. I thank you for preserving the lives of his children and his dog, too, and his home, too, and car in Jesus Christ's name, Father, and preserving him and his soul, Father God, and keeping him firm and solid in his soul and strong in you, Lord, and keeping him sane and serene in his soul and his mind, in Jesus Christ's name and in his heart, Father God, and keeping him from going insane behind the agitations of the devil, and and keeping agitators and annoying, annoying people and, and evil bully people that love to agitate God and aggravate that you will keep the aggravators and agitators away from Michael Barton and away from all your T.I.'s people, Father God, in the T.I. community and away from me too, in Jesus Christ's name. I pray, Father God, that you will give Michael Barton the strength to keep calm and not to be agitated by the enemy, even though the devil try to aggravate him through the perps. Father God, those Satanism demons operating through the perps, that you will help him to stay calm and collect, Father God, no matter what, with your power and your anointing and your strength, Father God, and your wisdom and understanding and knowledge in Jesus Christ's name that you will give Michael Barton wisdom that no foul knows that no owl knows rather no owl knows in Jesus Christ's name and that you will protect him and keep him from people that are like owls too in Jesus Christ's name and spirit to owls Father God in Jesus Christ's name that you will burn the owls and the snakes and the python spirits off of his life the Leviathan spirits and marine spirits off of Michael Barton's life with your holy fires down to the ashes to the ground to not in Jesus Christ's name Father God I thank you and I praise you Father God that your word is done in Michael Barton's life and now I'm going to pray this prayer declaration over Michael Barton on the same page on the April the 8th page prayer declaration I thank you Father God that Michael Barden will have no fear of the scorching flames of the wicked the wicked perps that come against him either for the Lord Michael Barden's God will protect Michael Barden from being burned by the flaming fire situations of the enemy connected to the covert gang stalking program in Jesus Christ's name and in the name of Jesus Christ well I just added a little bit on that just to but that ain't in you know that part with the perp stuff ain't in there so in the name of Jesus Christ I thank you that Michael Barton will overcome every fire and wickedness sent against his life in Jesus Christ's name connected to the covert gain stocking program stuff too connected to the court situations unjust court situations and trials too and the enemy will not be able to burn up Michael Barton's harvest in any given area of his life. In Jesus' name, I just added in given, that's not in there. In Jesus Christ's name, I quench every torch the enemy would use against Michael Barton's life. Even in this court situation, in this unjust trial situation, as well in Michael Barton's life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God. So now I'm going to page the next page, April the 9th, and I'm going to do the same routine 
I'm going to read it and then pray it over you, Michael. And on April the 9th, the next page, you are redeemed from the curse through the blood of Jesus Christ. So, these scriptures from this passage reads Galatians 3, verses 13 through 14.